It is easy to conduct a structure equation modeling analysis with WARP PLS 1.0. The first step is to open or create a project file. I will create a new project file here since I don't have uh, a current project file created. So go to this area projects and I will create a new project right here. The next step is to read the raw data using the analysis. So I'm going to read a raw data file from anywhere. I'll just choose this raw data file here. Uh, software is telling me that there will be an import wizard uh, that will import the source data. It will appear shortly. I'll click on next, finish. And the software is showing me the data that has been imported. This data has some uh, NAN uh, cells which are missing cells which will be taken care of by the software in, s in step 3. So I'll accept this data. Go to step 3 now which is to pre-process the data and here the software checks for missing values uh, checks for zero variance problems and deletes columns that have zero variance problems checks for identical column names and corrects them and standardizes the data and here's the uh, table showing the standardized data provided by the software I will accept it I'll go to step 4 which is to define the structure equation model. Here I'll create a few latent variables. I'll create one ECU, electronic communication use, which is going to be formative, so I'll define as being measured by all of these indicators and as formative. I'll save this variable. I will create another latent variable which uh, I will call PROC, meaning procedure structuring or a team's uh, ability to uh, manage their work. I'll create another latent variable here, uh, which will be effectiveness of a team. And I will define it as reflective and as measured by all of these indicators. Now I will create direct links between these variables. So I'm here hypothesizing that ECU, electronic communication use, which is a formative variable, influences procedure structuring and both influence the effectiveness of a team. Uh, I will centralize this model graph to make it look better. I can show or hide the indicators here. I will hide the indicators. I'll save the model. The software will create a model structure in preparation for the analysis. Now I will proceed to step 5 which is to perform the analysis. The software will perform the analysis for me. It will show uh, on the screen the, the analysis being conducted. And now the software, uh, the software shows the results of the analysis, which would essentially mean that ECU does influence in a significant way PROC. PROC does influence in a significant way effectiveness, but ECU, when PROC is controlled for, does not influence effectiveness in a strong way. Here I can also save a number of uh, 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 parameters or estimates and I can view them. For example, I can view path coefficients and p-values which are also available from the screen. I can also view indicator loadings and cross loadings. And this concludes the analysis. So I'll now close out this window and I will save my project. 
Here's the project that has been saved. Its size is 158 kilobytes only, and it contains everything that is involved in the project, including source data and um, uh, the model structure, the model results, everything uh, that pertains to this project. It does not need me to keep reading the source data or even to keep a link between the project and the source data. The source data is contained in the project already.